Welcome, my name is Ayush Das and this is the start of a new video series on ROS2. In day zero, we will be looking into installing and setting up ROS2 on your machine. Before we start, what is ROS? ROS is an abbreviation for Robot Operating System. It is an open source project developed by Willow Garage. It provides us services such as hardware abstraction, low-level device control, implementation of commonly used functionality such as message passing between different processes and package management. It also provides us tools and libraries for obtaining, building, writing, and running code across multiple computer clusters. In these videos, we will be using ROS2 Foxy for our development. Note that ROS2, unlike ROS1, is available in macOS, Ubuntu, and Windows. However, I will be using Ubuntu 20.04 in this video. The agenda for today's video will be to download and install VirtualBox, Ubuntu 20.04, and ROS2 Foxy. Finally, we'll have to verify an installation for ROS2. To download VirtualBox, type in VirtualBox in your search bar and click on Oracle VM VirtualBox. Download the version of VirtualBox corresponding to the operating system you are operating in. To download Ubuntu, type in Ubuntu 20.04 in your search bar. Then select the Ubuntu Downloads page and download the desktop image. I will not be showing you how to set up Ubuntu on VirtualBox. There are many great videos on YouTube that already explain this. Now let's download and install ROS2 Foxy. So now I'm in Ubuntu and I'm showing you the ROS2 documentation page and they have some installation instructions for Debian packages. Follow the instructions on this website carefully. I will be speeding through this installation process. Looks like the installation is done. Let's verify whether our ROS2 Foxy installation is done successfully. To verify this, we run two sets of node examples as shown in the website. Do not worry what nodes are, those will be explained or discussed in the further videos. Just for our context, in this scenario, one node will be acting as a talker while the other acts as the listener. So as and when the talker sends messages, the listener must be able to listen to those messages. So in one terminal, we run the talker while the other, we run the listener. Now you can see that the talker is publishing some messages. Ideally, if the installation is successful, the listener must be able to listen to those messages. As you can see, the listener is able to listen to what the talker is publishing. This suggests that we've successfully installed ROS2. Congratulations. Looking forward to see you in the next video.